Welcome to Jatai Academy. I'm Russell Mays, Director of Content. Today we're going to be doing some layering, but the layering is going to be disconnected. In the end, it's all going to blend seamlessly. It's a really good way to go from really short layering to really long in length very easily. You curious? Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started here. We're taking a natural or center part right down the center of the head to the crown. From the crown, the drop crown actually, I'm going to go to the top of the ear using my feather styling razor. That gives me a good sharp edge to cut with, but it has a little bit of guard to keep me protected from cutting my fingers. So with my feather styling razor, I'm combing everything straight down at zero elevation and going through and taking a pretty deep channel and purposefully trying to cut a point into the hair. So I want the perimeter length to have a lot of separation. So by going through and holding this down at zero elevation and taking a channel cut all the way until I cut the section off, I can end up with pieces that really separate and flick apart on the bottom. We've cut the bottom part. Now we're going to move up to the top of the head and it's the same pattern that I was using before. Combing everything down, finding my guide underneath, going through, channel cutting and cutting my length off so that I can get that nice soft pieciness on the bottom. Now if I go through and do this with a uh, scissor, it's not going to have the same kind of flow. And here you can see we got a nice separation on the bottom and it's still got a nice blunt shape. From there we're going to move around to the front and I'm going to take the first bump of the head from the parting over to the high point of the hairline over the ear. Then we're going to go back Right in the center, take a triangular section, comb that down to where I want my length, cut that, comb everything else forward using that front as my guide. I'm now going to cut my short piece in the center of the front and angle that line down into my perimeter length. I still want to keep a nice smooth razor stroke on both sides so that I can get it to match. Now going back into the center, you'll notice I'm cutting from the center of the face down as opposed to cutting from the, my fingertip into the palm of my hand. This way, the hair is going to flow the same way on both sides. I want to match both sides with my razor action so that I can get that same kind of movement and flow. Here I'm just going to comb everything else from the back of the head down and forward and anything that would hang off my perimeter line that I cut around my face framing, anything that hangs over I'll cut that off. So here I'm keeping a solid perimeter shape by keeping my elevation low, but I'm keeping the perimeter texture soft by using a razor. Check out Jatai Feather on your favorite social media platform. We've got all of them. We'd love to hear from you. So now we're going to continue on. I'm sectioning off the head and the four quadrants, center, and then from the high point of the head to the high point of the ear. Here I'll take one quarter and I'll hold that down. And where I want my shortest layering to hit, I'm going to pull that section straight up in the air and cut that really short. Now, with someone as long as her hair is, this is going to give you a little pause for concern because you're going to think, oh my gosh, that's going to be too short. But what we're going to go through and do is we're going to disconnect each step of our layering. So there's my first section right there. You can see it underneath. And I'm going to go about an inch longer than that. I'm not going to blend it through. It's about an inch longer, but the razor stroke will give me a nice soft line that will easily allow everything to blend through. I'm going to take my next section, comb that straight up into my previously cut sections, and you'll see my guides drop out. There's the first one, there's the second one. Now I'm going to go about an inch longer, going through with my razor, keeping the same methodology that I was doing before, and going through and using a broad razor stroke, cutting that length off. So by going through and doing this kind of step layering, it's going to allow you to build up a lot of length really, really quickly. So I can keep the crown very, very short and easily blend through my layering down through the bottom without having to over direct in some really steep angle that I'm trying to blend it through. This will go through and create a tremendous amount of length very quickly. And since I'm using a razor, it's going to keep everything nice and soft and it's going to blend through.
Here's our last section, just a last little piece there. Everything blends. Now look at that. That's layered very, very short, but I still have a solid perimeter shape. Now we're going to take our guide from the first section on the left side. Now I'm going to take my section on the right side. Now this part here on the right side, you can see my triangular section right there. This part here, I'm going to cut the same length as my parting on the opposite side because this is the new guide for the right side. So I want to start with the same length on the top and then I will completely ignore all the guides on the left side of the head and comb up and cut this about an inch longer than my previously cut section. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. Now here we've gone through and done both sides. You can see we got a nice smooth layering with lots of separation and lots of pieciness in the back. Now we're going to go through and do the front. We're going to take the same kind of triangular sections that we were working on. There's my guide from the back. It just dropped out. And then I'm going to go through and razor that off with the same methodology that I was doing in the back. But around the front, I want to be very, very conscientious that I'm going to build this up pretty quickly. And you can see my guides drop out from the back. So it will blend front to back and top to bottom but I want to pay attention and make sure I don't get my layering not stepped enough to where I end up giving mullet layers where I cut my layering so short around the front that I lose all that length right around the front. Combing this up, the very last piece, there's very little right there. Oh, and we just dropped the comb and she's laughing at me. <laughs> it's that kind of day. And here we go through and check out everything. We see our layering blends front to back, side to side. And now we're going to blow it dry and see how we look. On this, I start blowing the roots dry first, and then I'll go through with a round brush just to get a little bit of a set so I can have a nice amount of volume and a nice little bit of curl pattern to it around the front. Just curling it to one side to kind of get some flow, get it out of her face. Now we're going to hit it with some cold air to kind of set that movement into it. When the hair gets hot, it becomes pliable. I can pull the natural shape out of it. When it cools down, it will re-harden in whatever shape that I want. And that's how I go through and style the hair to have body and some fullness to it. And I think this looks pretty good. We got the, the layering really short, but we still have a good solid perimeter shape. We got a lot of movement to it. The texture is there. And I think that this works really well with her hair. I like it. Thanks for watching. Check out the Jatai Academy for more information and more content to make you a better hairstylist and barber. Also, let us know what you'd like to see in the future, and we'll see you next time. Hey, hey.